Hey guys, welcome to Evidential Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I am going to show you how to print in Excel. I am going to show you how to print with the header on each page, how to print with lines and how to print without lines, and how to set the print area. So just from this page, if you go to File, Print, or if you hit Ctrl P or Command P if you're on Mac, if you hit Ctrl P, you see um, the print option over here. And you can either choose to print active sheets, which means like whatever is on your screen to print it, or you can print entire workbook and it will print the entire workbook, or you can choose to print selection area. So we didn't select any area. Let's go back here and let's say we select this area here and we just want to print this. We go to file print, no, print and you print the selected area and to just print this area that's selected if you print active worksheet that's what it to look like and you print entire workbook it to print everything so print selection here and then we can say um fits sheet on one page to make sure everything fits on one page if you have a large area selection you want to make sure everything fits on one page make sure from here you choose fits on one page and then you can for me you can ch change if it's portrait or landscape orientation and um, if you see here, like it prints automatically, it goes to print automatically without lines. So to add lines to it, what you do is you go back here. If you go to page layout, you see where under grid lines, you see where it says print. Um, if you click this print button, it will allow you to print with the grid lines. And under where it says heading in page layout, if you print if you go to if you click the button this button that says print it will allow you to print the headings in um when you go to print it so let's go back to file print here it's as you can see it's printing now with the headings uh, with the grid lines and with the heading because we went to the page layout and clicked print under grid lines and print under headings Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Bye!